And the opioid epidemic continues to grow in North Carolina, rising 73% in the last 12 years. Our beer shell Ed May was there as leaders discuss the challenges the state faces and how to combat the problem. The attorney general says the demand for these drugs is one of, if not the main issue, fueling the opioid crisis. Today on UNC's campus, he spoke to the state's local health directors, and he told them that the responsibility falls on local, state, and federal government. Now, the attorney general also laid out three different tactics to trying to deal with this drug issue. He mentioned prevention, which means working with medical professionals so they are not overprescribing and also educating our youth so they do not participate in risky behavior treatment and that means seeing this crisis as an illness an addiction plus funding recovery and finally punishment rounding up drug traffickers and making sure they are brought to justice well, you can't just cut off the supply and expect this problem to go away because where there is addiction there will be demand and people will pay whatever it takes to get the drugs so we have to have a multifaceted approach now the attorney general says that he is confident that his proposed legislation the stop act will pass and have bipartisan support. Now that measure would also limit opioid prescriptions to five days, at least initially. It also talks about funding recovery. We have much more on that piece of legislation on our website. That's WNCN.com. Reporting in Chapel Hill, Beershell Edmay, CBS, North Carolina.